Hello, this is Michael Fisher, the Golden Plains Area Livestock Extension Agent. Today I'd like to visit with you for a moment about BBDPI. That's bovine viral diarrhea, persistently infected. BBD is a disease that we have had a lot of problems with over the past. Uh, it causes many things, including uh, depression, loss of appetite, fevers, uh, and diarrhea. It affects the immune system to an extent that it lowers that immune system where secondary diseases can take hold. Uh, and that costs us a great deal of money once those secondary diseases are taken hold in BVD uh, to the tune of about $2 billion, that $2 billion with a B, for the U.S. beef industry annually. Uh, there's a condition called BVD-PI, or persistently infected in which uh, a pregnant cow you're between day 45 and day 120 of gestation interacts with a BVD virus. She passes that virus transplacentally through to the fetus and the calf picks it up. The fetus accepts it as part of its body system and is born with BVD PI. At that stage, they don't become sick from it, however, they're a constant reservoir and constantly shedding BVD. So when we have that condition, wherever they go, they're spreading the disease of BVD to other cattle. Uh, research has shown that uh, that kind of experience will raise in the feedlot, uh, will raise your health cost by about 43% for calves in the same pen or an adjacent pen to a BVD PI cow. On the cow side, uh, BVD, after 120 days gestation, can cause a calf or a fetus to abort or be mummified. And just those reproductive inefficiencies alone will cost $14 to $24 per cow per year if you have one BVD PI animal in your herd. So we're encouraging uh, producers to have your cow herds and your calves tested for BVD PI. It's a very simple procedure. Your veterinarian can do it. You can do it and send it off to a lab. Uh, you need to visit with your lab first about how they wish to get the test and what type of tubes or such you will want to uh, put a sample in. Um, there's multiple ways we can do it through serum or skin tissue. A lot of ways it was we'd take a simple ear notch out of the ear, uh, put it in a red tube and send it to the lab. Uh, I've heard of it costing as little as $2 or up to 5 to $7 a sample. Uh, but also some labs can do pooled samples where you can put multiple samples into one test. Uh, and it can save you a lot in the long run. Uh, looking at the BVD problem and how it affects not only cow herds but the feedlot industry as a whole. Uh, so I would encourage you to have your uh, cow herd tested for BVD PI. Thank you. If you wish to talk with me about this further or have any questions, you can contact me at the Yuma County Extension Office, Ray, Colorado, at 970-332-4151.